What's going on, everybody? It's Q from Retro Q Game, and, well, I'm having one of my whimsical, musy type of evenings, if you will. So, I figured, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction. So, as we all know, it is the one and only Q here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. What I do, what I don't do, what I prefer, what I don't prefer etc etc some of it will be gaming some of it will be other media some of it will be non-media at all so let's start with the gaming stuff because that's probably what most people are here for and most people know so of course i'm an avid gamer i play all platforms pc is my preferred platform because of the quality and performance i can get on there but most of the consoles have a reason for me to own them. Some of them have several high quality titles that I'm interested in and I want to play and don't want to miss out on just because they're on my non-preferred piece of hardware. I can't say piece of plastic because, well, it's a PC. But that's why I have pretty much everything so that I can enjoy what I want. I can enjoy gaming as a whole. So when it comes to gaming, we have lots of different games, lots of different series, lots of different genres. And my favorite genres, if you don't already know, are JRPGs and RPGs. Now, I like many other games out there. I like action games, first-person shooter games, adventure games, story-heavy games with not even too much proper gameplay as we know it. But I play pretty much all types of genres, all types of games, with one or two exceptions. I don't really play any sports games or racing and flying games. Unless you want to count maybe something like WWF No Mercy on the N64 as a sports game. And maybe Mario Kart as a racing game. I don't count either of those, to be honest. And with the exception of the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator, I don't play any flying games at all. And yes, of course, most importantly, we have our best game ever and best console ever. Secret of Mana back on the Super Nintendo, best game ever made, my favorite personal game of all time, and yes, the SNES is the best console ever made. So obviously, with all that talk of the SNES and the old stuff, yes, I am a massive, avid retro gamer. About several hundred, if not just over a thousand physical games. I would say the vast majority, probably about 80% of those, are proper retro games, or at least anything from the sixth generation and before. And I generally consider myself a retro collector when it comes to gaming and all as well. It's allowed me to have all these games, all these experiences and whatnot. I have 30-something consoles, depending on how you classify and what you classify as a console, and 20-something handhelds. If I remember right off the top of my head, it's either 33 or 34 consoles, and I want to say 23 or 24 handhelds. But we'll move away from gaming for a second. In fact, I've already talked too much about it than I would have preferred to. We look at some non-gaming stuff that I'm into. Obviously, I'm into motorcycles. I'm not much of a sports guy in general, although I do watch wrestling. No, pretty much only thanks to AEW because I've been out of wrestling since 2001. Back when WWF, when they were still WWF, bought WCW and completely fucked up the invasion angle. And while AEW isn't perfect, I'm enjoying it for the most part so far, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. Other than that, I used to play a lot of basketball when I was back in school, believe it or not, so I haven't played in a long, long time at this point, but I used to really enjoy basketball. And when we got a little bit of free time and free range and all in college over the years, I would typically either just, say, go home if it was close enough to the end of the day, or you'd find me on the court killing some time. And if you're wondering where all the sports and college stuff comes into it, I went for fitness-related stuff. I'm a qualified fitness instructor. I used to be in much better shape, but a video game, of all things, pretty much ruined my life in that way. And I've been in a slump ever since. I'm trying to get motivated and back out of it, but hell, it's been a few years at this point. So, yeah, it's getting increasingly difficult to find that motivation and find that reason. But over the years, I've also been working on improving my qualifications in the fitness industry. I'm looking on building up on top of it, getting it more and more versatile, as well as picking up one or two more that are in specific specialized fields. And all of this is in the hopes and dreams one day, thanks to what I'm saving for at the moment and all too, is I can open my own fitness business at some point. But moving on to some other stuff, I am, I'm not a huge comic guy, but I do read some comics. Not so much the exact mainstream stuff, but some of the other stuff. 
I find a lot of the mainstream ones too difficult to follow because you have to, if you want to read one series, you need to read all these other five different series that are, you know, 15 volumes long in order to understand who the characters are, where they are, blah, blah, blah. It's just too much for me. Typically, I read kind of self-contained things. I've read all of The Walking Dead. I've read all of Fables and a handful of other small things as well. Big anime fan, as you may or may not expect. Little bit of manga, but again, that fits in with the comics and all too. It's also very hard to find a lot of time to read that. I enjoy a huge range of anime when it comes to pretty much everything. Because thanks to the way they do anime and the storytelling within, you can usually make even the more mundane thing a bit interesting. Having said that though, there's a pretty much 50-50 tie for my favourite anime of all time between Cowboy Bebop and Ghost in the Shell. I do spend a decent amount of time going to conventions whenever possible. Of course, living in Ireland, there's not a huge availability of them to me, so you usually see me at every one of them whenever I can get a chance to go, typically two or three times a year. I like to go, see the cosplay, meet some of the guests, get autographs, pictures, pick up some merch. It's just a great time I usually go with with my friends. I used to like to read a lot, and I don't really get too much of a chance to do it anymore because... Well, it does consume a lot of time. I need a nice, relaxing environment. I'm not one of those people who could read on a train or read in a busy, loud place. I like to just completely lose myself if I'm going to sit down and read a book. And the time and motivation never really line up. And when it comes to favorite genre, it's pretty much going to be the same thing as TV and film as well. Books, TV, films, sci-fi is pretty much my main deal. You probably see that a lot with the anime as well, actually. But I do watch a lot of other genres as well. There's never any huge hard line of only what I will and won't watch. I'll consider other stuff, depending on what it is and what people tell me about it too. Oh, and since we're playing favorites, Terminator 2, best film ever. On to music for a second here, and it's mostly old school stuff. I don't really listen to much modern music because... Well, a lot of it just doesn't really grab me, so pretty much a lot of what I listen to is all old school 80s and 90s rap music. There's a, uh, I won't say a lot of exceptions, but there are a decent amount of exceptions for 2000 to 2010 rap stuff as well. Everything post-2010 is pretty much dirt. Of course, naturally, there are some other stuff I listen to as well, but it wouldn't be any anything consistent. For example, I'm a big fan of Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory, not too much of any of their other work. Of course, it goes without saying, Eminem is the greatest rapper and the greatest musician of all time. Although if you want to put musician in there, I guess Prince is also in the running. But I also consider the top tier stuff like Dr. Dre, Wu-Tang Clan, Beastie Boys, Tupac, Ice Cube, etc. Oh, and since we're playing favorites, even though I consider Eminem the greatest of all time, it Was a Good Day by Ice Cube is my number one song of all time. There's also a good, decent chunk of video game music in there as well. Big fan of naturally stuff like Final Fantasy music, Persona music, Chrono Trigger. Ever since the advent of the, not just the Super Nintendo, but specifically the PlayStation 1 and beyond because of the CD quality music, a lot of developers and a lot of composers have gone out of their way to get this extremely high quality orchestrated soundtracks in many, many games. So I love to listen to so much of that, be it ambient music or big battle teams, something high profile, something really built up and orchestrated, anything along those lines. I started making videos on YouTube just for fun about four years ago, and it took me a while to get my footing on there with learning what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it and whatnot. But eventually I found it, and here I am. I do it just completely for fun, and I enjoy making all these videos, streaming, talking with everyone, replying, reading comments, seeing different opinions, all of that stuff. So, that's pretty much it. This is your boy Q, signing off.